Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tavada, and in this video lecture session, I am going to explain you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this: a pentagonal prism, 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges of the base. Draw the projections of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree and VP at 30 degree. Now, according to the given condition, uh, we'll go to the applications, then macros. Run macro. Click on the inside polygon, which is available in the path which is shown here. Then open the inside polygon. Click on the flat length. Then the flat length is supposed to be taken as 25 millimeter, and the number of sides in the pentagon is five. Click on the apply relationship. Press the cursor anywhere on the sheet. Now one can see that the pentagon has been obtained. Now once the pentagon is obtained, the pentagon is supposed to be a corner side resting pentagon in the solid. So now. Select this inclined line and make it as a vertical line towards the right side, so that it is going to be the side resting pentagon. Now, once the side resting pentagon is properly positioned on the below the xy line that is in the HP, then make use of a line command with thickness of 0.13. Join two perpendicular bisector with the help of midpoint. So, in the internally sketch relationship, midpoint we will on it. So, we will join to the opposite line midpoint, and also we will go to another. midpoint over here so that we are going to get the required two perpendicular bisectors then the intersection symbol has to be obtained but here the midpoint will always disturb us so once again we'll go to the internally sketch and switch off the midpoint so that we are going to get the intersection symbol now with the help of intersection symbol join the line till the x y uh, uh, x y line that is nothing but to project the axis now whatever the remaining corners of the pentagon are there all those corner has to be projected till the x y line now we know that the front view of the prism is always a rectangle so hence forth with a thickness of 0.5 mm now this is the start point of the rectangle this is the end point of the rectangle with respect to the width is concerned and we know that the height is given as 60 mm enter the height as 60 now one can see that the pentagon is going to be constructed in sorry uh, the pentagonal front view prism is going to be constructed then using a line command with 4.5 mm as a thickness one has to draw this line as a visible edge according to the rules of visibility and invisibility then using a chain line with 0.13 mm as a thickness one can draw this line as a chain line and after which and after which make use of the smart dimension or distance between show that the size of the pentagon is 25 and height of a solid is 60 mm then using the text command start naming all the respective corners now this corner will be named as a a1 and then this corner will be named as b b1 and this corner can be named as c c1 and this corner will be named as d d1 and this corner will be named as e e1 and finally the axis will be named as o o1 and in the same fashion in the front view the bottom base will be named as a1 dash then we have b1 dash as well as e1 dash and then we have o1 dash and then we have c1 dash and then finally we have d1 dash inside the bracket so this is going to be the bottom base in the same fashion the top base will be named as a dash then so we have a dash and then b dash and then inside the bracket e dash and then o dash inside the bracket then c dash And inside the bracket d dash now the top and front view is according to the initial position it is fixed now axis is inclined to hp at 40 degree now one has to select the front view go with move command move in such a way that c1 d1 as a reference reposition that c1 d1 at a particular point on the xy line so it may it can be any point then uh, c1 d1 has to be selected and d has to be sorry a1 has to be selected and the base is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 90 minus theta that is 40 degree that is the base is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 50 degree 
then the axis will be obviously will be rotated at an angle of 40 degree. Now one can see that the 40 degree inclination is available. Now make use of uh, move command and make sure that this is going to be moved slightly towards the uh, stage one so that it is available in the next stage the spaces. Now make use of a line command start drawing the projectors to complete the top view. Now for which the respective lines has to be drawn. Now the projectors has to be drawn with a lot of patience because the number of lines will be keep on increasing. So which may lead to confusion. So without any confusions one has to draw the projectors properly. Now after marking these lines then make use of the text command start naming the respective corners. This as A1, this as B1, this as C1, this as D1 and this will be E1 and this is going to be O1 accordingly. So now one can see that the projector of A1 is not drawn. So we shall draw the projector of A. Now this is going to be A, B, C, D, E and this is going to be O. Now once we have located all the respective corners, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter, complete the boundary first according to the rules of visibility and invisibility a1 to b1 b1 to b c d then e the intersection is e1 and a1 then identify the visible base when we are seeing from the top the top base is visible to the observer bottom base is invisible because bottom base is nearer to the xy line so bottom base becomes invisible top base is visible the top base edges must be drawn as thick line that is a, B, C, D, E should be drawn as a dark line. So B, A and A, E must be taken as visible edges. And after which again using a line command with a invisible edges join B1 to C1 then C1 to D1 D1 to E1 as a invisible edge. Now the longer edge which is passing inside the invisible base edge must be visible and inside the visible base edge must be invisible. Now the longer edges D, D1 one can see that it becomes invisible and C, C1 will become invisible and A, A1 will become visible. We will change it to visible and then we will connect to A, A1. Now A, A1 is not drawn properly. We shall uh, repeat it. A, A1. And then at last but not the least the axis has to be represented as a chain line with 0.13 mm as a thickness. Now after which we can say that the second stage is completed in all aspects. Then make use of a smart dimension. Measure the length of this line which is measuring as 45.96 millimeter. Now the axis is inclined to VP at 30 degree that is a true angle but this is the apparent length so one has to construct the apparent angle. Now the true length of axis is 60 millimeter, apparent length of the axis is 45.96 millimeter. Now make use of a line command with thickness of 0.13. One can draw an inclined line and then the inclination of this line with respect to xy line is supposed to be long dash 30 degree. And then using a point command with a thickness of 2 millimeter, one has to locate a reference point anywhere on the 30 degree line. And after which initially we have to mark the true radius for which using the arc by center point command with radius as 60 millimeter will draw a true radius first and then the true length is going to be marked and draw the locus over that again go to arc by center point command again this as the center point then the apparent radius as 45.96 millimeter has to be taken and then one has to draw an apparent position now once the apparent position is furnished now join the line for the apparent angle and then measure the angle between xy line to the apparent angle which is measuring as 41 degree. Now once it is furnished we have to reposition this O, O, O1 so this complete solid with respect to O and O1 with respect to the apparent angle for which one has to select the top view then make use of a command called as move. 
move with respect to the end point O1, the axis line, and then that has to be crea uh, located over the end point which we have created earlier. And then one can see that the original is moving, so that uh, make sure that uh, in the move command, switch on the copy and then repeat the step. That is, uh, O1 has to be selected. That is, axis line has to be selected, end point. That end point has to be clearly positioned on the line over here. That is the point what we have created. And then go for rotate command. Rotate in such a way that the end point is fixed and this end point is going to be rotated and is going to be fixed on the apparent inclination line. Then make use of a line command with respect to the thickness of 0.13. Start drawing the projectors from the extreme corners and connect the respective points properly. And here the patience is very much important because more number of lines will be there which way leads to confusion. Uh, with a lot of care one has to complete the projectors properly. Now one of the base is completed, we will go to the next base. Uh, now we will lock the angle as 90 degree to avoid confusions. We are going to connect O to O1. And then A to A1. Now, after drawing these lines, then one can go for a text command and start naming the respective corners as A1 dash. Then this is going to be B1 dash. This is going to be C1 dash and this is going to be D1 dash and finally this is going to be E1 dash and this is O1 dash. Then in the same fashion A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and this is going to be E dash and then O dash. Then using a line command first point is nothing but in mean the rules of visibility and invisibility the first one is the boundary line we shall start the boundary with e1 dash now e1 dash to a1 dash is going to be the boundary a dash to a1 dash to a dash then b dash then c dash c1 dash then it is going to be the d1 dash is d1 dash and then to a1 dash. Now this is going to be the boundary. Now identify the visible base. Visible base is a1, b1, c1, d1. It is to be draw, drawn as a dark line. And identify the invisible base. a, b, c, d is the invisible base because it is nearer to the x, y line. Now those base edges must be uh, invisible. That is c dash to d dash, d dash to e dash and e dash to a dash is a invisible edges. Now E dash I am going to slightly reposition it over here to avoid any confusions. And then A dash I am going to reposition over here to avoid any confusions. Then make use of a line command with thickness of 0 0.5 and a continuous line. Inside the invisible base that is B B1 is passing hence it must be visible. And then D D1 is passing inside the Invisible base it must be invisible. We will make it as invisible. Now E1 is also passing inside the visible base, hence it must be invisible. And then the axis line is there. We shall change the line style to axis and join this O dash to O1 dash. Now you can see that the problem is completed in all aspects as per the given conditions in the questions. And if you have any sort of doubts, you can feel free to contact me and thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video to all your first year engineering students.
Thank you guys. Once again.